Getting through a day without a snack or an energy drink is more than many of us can manage. But devout Muslims go from sunrise to sunset without anything passing their lips for the entire four weeks of the holy month of Ramadan. The end of the month long period of fasting comes with the sighting of the new moon, which is celebrated with Thanksgiving and festivities. This week, Yudhika prepares for the main feast. Eid al-Fitr marks the end of the Ramadan fasting. It's always a celebration. And when there's a celebration, there's always a feast. I'm going to make some slow-cooked lamb shanks today to go with that saffron baked potatoes and some pan-fried chili lime prawns. I'm starting out with the lamb shanks and for that, sunflower oil. I've heated this pan already. Add the lamb shanks to the pan. Just splatter a little and leave them to brown. Season the lamb with salt. Seal the lamb shanks so they stay juicy and tender. That looks about right. Remove the shanks from the pan. And while it's still hot, add the bay leaves. Fry them until they're fragrant. And once the center vein turns a shade darker, then you're ready to add the onions. Using finely chopped onions for this. You don't need to start in a clean pan. And the moisture from the onions will loosen whatever's stuck to the base. Season the onions lightly with some salt. I'm not going to season too heavily. I'm using stock as well in this recipe, and that can be quite salty. That should do. Now there's always biryani served at Eid. I've decided to make slow-cooked fragrant lamb shanks. It's a nice variation, quite a hearty dish as well, and it's also impressive to serve. You can use smaller shanks and just portion them out one per person, or for the larger shanks, just divide them in two. Next, some fresh garlic. Freshly pounded garlic is always the best and try to use one that's free of preservatives. And fresh thyme, this is from my garden and fresh always works best. Stir that through, a little tip for you at home. Move the onions over to the side of the pan and then add the spices on top. Cinnamon, nutmeg, turmeric, and black pepper. Gently stir that in. Just a few seconds, these spices can burn quite easily. And next, in goes the stock. I think homemade stock has the best flavor. And I'm lightly scraping the bottom of the pan, just making sure everything dissolves into the stock. Place the shanks back into the pot. Here's the saffron. I've heated the saffron strands in a dry pan and then infused them in boiled water. I've left them to stand until these ochre colors come through. It has a lovely flavor and aroma. Scrape the saffron strands into the pot. They're too precious to waste. Now we've got some orange zest and lemon zest. Lamb is quite a fatty meat, so the zest just cuts through that fat. And as soon as it hits the hot liquid, these lovely citrusy aromas waft through. We've added some fragrant ingredients to our lamb. I put the lid on, lower the heat, and let it work its magic. I'm gonna get started on the potatoes. For the potatoes, I've got some thinly sliced potatoes here. They've been soaking in water to prevent them from being discolored. Overlapping them slightly, and you should slice them quite thinly. There's nothing better than potatoes with lamb. It doesn't matter if they're roasted or baked, or even mashed. It just works so well together. Just a few more going in. Now season that layer with salt and black pepper. Drizzle with some olive oil. And then just repeat. 
small potato going on top. You can serve the lamb with a potato bake, cauliflower bake, and even some grilled brinjals. Again, some salt. Take care not to overseason. Some black pepper. Some fresh thyme. A little more olive oil. And then the last layer of potatoes. This is quite a rustic dish. Doesn't have to look picture perfect. Salt. Now some black pepper. Pour in the stock. You can use chicken stock or this little more olive oil. Garlic now, about a heaped teaspoon going into the melted butter. Stir that through to combine and then pour that over. Use your teaspoon to lightly push the garlic under the potato. And lastly, the saffron. Scrape the last saffron strands over the potato. This adds a lovely color, aroma and flavor. A little more oil going on top. A few sprigs of fresh thyme. Bake this off in a preheated oven, 180 degrees Celsius, until the potatoes are tender and golden brown. It should be about 55 to 60 minutes. This lovely aroma is wafting through my kitchen. We've got roasted thyme, garlic and saffron. Let's have a look at the lamb. It's simmered down quite nicely. The meat is falling off the bone. I'm going to simmer that uncovered now. Just before you're ready to serve up the feast, do the prawns. It's always the last thing. Sunflower oil going into a hot pan. The oil's beginning to smoke. The prawns go into the hot oil. There's quite a commotion in this pan. The prawns hit the pan and turn pink almost immediately. Now to this, add some butter. Stir that in and once it melts, some finely chopped onion. And just saute that until the onion is translucent. Let's season this with some salt. my best friend's favorite dish on Eid is a prawn of some sort. A while ago I made her some garlic cream prawns and every year I try to think up a new recipe for her to try. Fresh crushed garlic going in, some green chilies next, a bit of red chili powder also going in, generous sprinkling. Peri peri sauce, extra hot. Stir those ingredients together. And lastly, a bit of chicken stock going in. Simmer that until the sauce thickens slightly. I'm increasing the temperature. I've left the shell on. It does add flavor to this lovely sauce. Lastly, some lime juice. Fresh lime going in. Squeeze that over. These are quite juicy. If you're measuring it out, I'd say about four tablespoons. The sauce has thickened nicely. Some fresh coriander going on top. And lastly, some salt. Just to season. Remember, we've used stock in this as well. If you don't like using stock, you could just leave it out of the recipe. And then black pepper. The potato should be ready. The lamb's also simmered down. The sauce has thickened beautifully. It's time to plate the feast. Instead of preparing a traditional biryani or a leg of lamb, 
I've decided to do something different for Eid this year, so I've made slow simmered lamb shanks to go with that saffron potatoes and chili lime prawns. You can serve the prawns with the pilau rice or crusty bread. Creating a feast isn't always about using the most expensive ingredients and complicated recipes. It's about using fresh ingredients and combining flavors, not to mention cook with a large dose of love. I hope you have a very happy Eid and enjoy the feast.